first thing I'm going to do is show you how to create a visitor's pass. And believe me, there's a method to my madness here. First thing you want to do is go to tools. In tools, there's a little tab here called visitor's pass, right? You just have to click on that, all right? And as you see, there are some visitor's passes here that were already created for Dr. Green. And we were doing this collaborating so that she can see um, the things that I've been doing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete them because we don't need them right now. All right, creating a new visitor's pass, all you do is hit new. It's going to ask you for a title. I recommend if you're doing this for a prospective employer, you just put the employer's name. It's easier to keep track of. Okay? Or if you're a principal and you're doing it for your staff, you can put it, you know, ABC High School faculty. All right? For this one here, we're going to use Dr. Green because she is helping with me with all this. You always want to put some kind of description. What I want Dr. Green to see is my portfolio because I'm applying for a job with her. So pretty much thank you for taking the time to review my electronic portfolio. If selected, I know be an asset to your organization, period. Okay, something nice and simple. I'm going to save it. Okay, you have a visitor's pass code. So you want to make sure you write that number down, 1077, I got 170. Okay, because this is what I'm going to be sending to Dr. Green, okay, in an email or some kind of way, all right, so she knows, and I'm going to give her the link to Live Text, all right, which is pretty much LiveText.com, and you can see it right up here, all right. All I'm going to do is give her that, and I'm going to say this is the visitor's pass. If you log on in the visitor's pass section, she'll be able to see, and we're going to actually go through that right now, all right. But before we do that, we have to get into documents to let her see. So now I have her visitor's pass. Now we're going to go into documents. Okay, now I have developed a lot of documents in here, all right, for the purposes of this webinar, all right? So what you have to do in order to share these documents, all right, I'm going to hit, and I know this one in particular is my electronic portfolio, all right? So my personal electronic portfolio, as everybody can see, is right here, all right? And I'll get into how to develop one uh, for your own personal one, but I just want to show you how to share this on a visitor's pass. Okay. All you're going to do is hit share and you're going to get this box that says search viewer. Now you kept it simple. You know that it's Dr. Green. That's, that's her name. So I put doctor and just a couple of letters and it'll pop up as a visitor right there. Nice and simple. You click on that. Okay, so I know I'm going to share it with her. You add it to share, and that's it. Now, if Dr. Green logs in under that passcode, which we will do right now, okay, I'm going to have to log out of this account, and we're going to log in as Dr. Green. You'll be able to see what she sees. Let me log out here real quick. Right here, you have a visitor's pass section. We're going to use the code. Seven, seven. Visitor pass entry. And there it is. This is what Dr. Green can see, and this is all that she can see. She can't do any editing. She can't do anything within this live text except just see. And I set this portfolio up. This is actually my personal portfolio I've been working on. And these are the things that she can view as my prospective employer. Is everybody good with this so far? Go ahead and just give me a check mark if you're good with it, or if you have any questions, go ahead and ask any questions. We're all good. All right, now we're going to go back. Let me lock out of, log out of the visitor's pass here. I'm going to get back into mine. Okay, so now we worked out 
pretty much visitors passes. So how do we actually create things within live text? All right. There's two ways you can upload documents here in live text. All right. One of them I'm going to tell you to please stay away from unless you really, really know this program. And that is in the file manager. I'm recommending this. I messed with this for the last couple of weeks. And the problem with this is unless you really know this program, it's a nightmare to get your documents from file manager into documents to be able to share it with everyone. So if you create everything, all right, within your documents tab right here, you're going to be a lot better off and have a lot less headaches because Dr. Green can tell you how much I cried to her throughout the last couple of weeks. So just trust me when I tell you. All right, so here we go. We're going to talk about the documents you can create within live text. Now, I know, Murph, you said lesson plans and collaboration. So the first thing we're going to try and do is we're going to create a lesson plan and what live text has to offer within lesson plans. All right, so I have documents here, and as you guys can see, I have a lesson plan already created. But we're not going to even do that. I'm going to do a brand new one so you guys can see step by step. All you're going to do is hit new. From new, it says choose a folder, okay, on the drop-down box. Well, look at that right there, live text lesson plans, okay? Now, what kind of lesson plan are we going to do? Well, a lot of, um, after speaking with my colleagues within K through 12 and throughout this whole, all these courses that I've been taking, a lot of them use pretty much, some use EDI lesson plans. They're, they're using all different formats. And the biggest problem and challenge that they have is to get everybody on the same page, to get everything standardized so everybody's doing the same thing at the same time in the same way. Well, Live Text gives them that option. If they're going to use this within their school when they do a lesson plan, we'll create a basic lesson plan. And the principal or the teacher leader for the PLCs can say, hey, this is the lesson plan format we're going to use from now on. We're not expecting them to go backwards in time and do five years' worth of lesson plans and redo them because that just doesn't make sense. We're more based on moving forward. Okay, so once they establish this within their PLCs, they can go, okay, we're going to do this lesson plan the same way starting from now. And everybody needs to agree with it, and this makes it really, really easy. So basic lesson plan, you can click on that one. Okay, what we're going to title this one is ELD. Okay, so this will be ELD, which is English Language Development. Okay. Now, English language development could go from K through 12. So for this one, we'll just say K through 6. That'll make life easy. Okay? You're going to save this document. Now, what's going to pop up next is each different um, block of information. So right here, we're looking at, okay, standards. Now, depending on what state you're in, your standards are going to be different. All right, since we're in California, we're going to look at California standards. So you click on edit, and this is why I think this is so fantastic because I had to actually go through a class on writing lesson plans here in Brandman, and we had to look up our own standards. If they had live text back then, this would have made that class a million times easier. So you're going to click on add. Okay. Now it's going to come up with live text standards. Everything is already built into live text, which is super. I think this is fantastic. You're going to click all. Now right here in select set, all right, you're going to see 10 million acronyms. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea what 99.9% .9 of these are, but I can tell you I know what CAELD stands for. That's why we're going to be looking at that one, so don't make fun of me. All right, so here we go. You have Alabama, you have different colleges, standards for all kinds. And, you know, as you use your live text account, play with it. See what comes up. That's Arkansas. We need to get down to California. All right, here we go. We're in California standards. So California, English language development. Now you're going to get another pop-up block, standard set level. Which level are you going to look at? I leave it on all grades K through 6, like we discussed, because we're developing a lesson plan. Okay, I'll leave it there. 
and I'm just going to hit search. Now, what you can't see, and it just popped up, here goes all the California ELD standards already done for you because it's already in live text. So for these particular lesson plans we're developing, we're going to just pick three of them. We'll pick three different standards. Okay, you're going to add the standards. Okay, once it's added, all right, save and finish. And now it is in your lesson plan automatically. Okay, any questions about this so far? Nothing, everybody's good to go. How easy was that? Okay, and this could go for all kinds of things. All right, for your resources section, okay, I'm developing this lesson plan. Now I have resources, which we're going to get to a fantastic resource that is part of live text that the teachers can actually use. And then your objectives. And now you can match everything that you need to know, what the student needs to know, and you can match it to your ELD standards. So you'll never be off track. Now, what this also does is this creates something for the schools to be able to submit for when they're doing their accreditation, their data static statistics. So this is awesome because now all the teachers have the same lesson plans. They're all doing the same things. It's not taking away how they teach the lesson, all right? It's not taking away that autonomy, but it is giving them a standardized framework that all the teachers can use so that all the students are learning the same things. So I think that's an awesome feature. Okay, so that is lesson plans. The next thing we're going to do, all right, and if you want, I can show you. All right, that one's in there right now, ELD. So you go to your documents. It's right here. Now, let's say I'm the principal, and as the principal, I'm supposed to be the teacher leader. All right, so this is how I want my lesson plans formatted, and I want my teachers to collaborate and develop that lesson plan the best way they think they know how. So I can share this with everyone, and all I have to do is either A, if they don't have a live text account, I give them one visitor's pass, and I could give that one passcode to every single teacher in my faculty. So now they can all look at it. But the caveat is they cannot edit anything on that lesson plan unless they have a live text account, okay? That is the biggest thing. So if I'm putting out a newsletter and I want to make sure nobody, you know, you have some disgruntled teachers in there that aren't happy with everything that's going on and everybody agreed on this lesson plan or this newsletter, they cannot go and change anything. This can also be done um, speaking with, some students in my class this past weekend, and she actually does the newsletter for the school, but has a hard time getting it to all the parents. So when she saw this, I was like, you could give the parents one passcode to every single parent, and they can get on the live text and see your updated newsletter every week. And she thought that was fantastic. Plus, she's uh, in a school that's really big on the environment. So she was like, that saves killing a lot of trees because they don't have to make copies of everything. So another, another good reason why to use the live text. All right, so for me to share this, okay, now I can look at this here. If I want to share with people who have live text accounts, click on all users. And again, I'm going to use Dr. Green as a sample. All right. All right, and there she goes. That's Dr. Green's live text account. Okay, now with this, Dr. Green will be able to make additions, you know, subtractions, make her recommendations. You can actually collaborate on that lesson plan, and she can do it from Hawaii. She can do it from New York, wherever, the, wherever she's giving her lectures, you know, she can help me out. So another great asset. So I just added her, add to share. And now she can look at this lesson plan wherever she's at, you know, and pretty much have her office right off her laptop.